How much weight did How you much juice did you get you blood drink? work done? Why are you drinking so What about much your sugar? protein? This is not Why are you doing proven. this to yourself? Here I am at the end of my 90 day juice fast, reflecting on the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, and determining if it's worth it. Waking up on day 90 is bittersweet. Being on this path so long makes me wonder, where do I go from here? When I started this journey, I had so many doubts. Will it truly work for me? What if fear gets the best of me? Will this make me even more sick? The mind is what I had to get control over. It was my worst enemy on the many days I failed on my juice fast before I eventually stuck with it. Yeah, I'm at the park. I decided to come for a walk because like my juice fast hey, is over and like I feel so sad about it. Like I feel sad that it's over. I couldn't bring myself to do it on day 90. I was stuck in my routine and felt rushed to break it. Today, I decided to take that first step. It is the very first day I ever felt like a champion. As I reflect on day one through day 30, I vividly recall how my symptoms were intensified. I experienced headaches, stomach cramps, loose stools, panic attacks, dehydration from not drinking enough juice, gum pain, tongue discomfort from all the fruit juices and underusing my tongue, high emotions, flu-like symptoms, and a little acne. Throughout it all, I never experienced fatigue. Life has taught me that miracles are hidden in self-discipline. By month two of my journey, things got better. My symptoms started to slowly fade. I lost 30 pounds and felt amazing. My skin was and still is clearer than it's ever been and my energy could outperform any marathon runner. I made it to the best part of my journey and that's finally experiencing peace. This isn't to say detox symptoms stopped. From day 30 through day 90, I've had ice pick headaches occasionally, weeks with no bowel movements, an overflow of mucus surging out of my body, and trauma recalls. To be transparent as possible, I felt like I needed to go longer than 90 days. I discovered that the benefits are out of this world, but sometimes an even longer juice fast may be needed depending on the person. Don't ever compare your healing journey to others based on time. It may take you longer and that's fine. I decided to break my fast with homemade vegetable broth. I never made this before, so I'm super excited to make it. My mom is in town for Thanksgiving and is a major help to get everything sorted for me for the week. I also purchased my very first avocado. Hopefully, I'm able to take in some soon or at least before the week is out. I've been craving avocado my entire journey and now I'll be able to eat some soon. Some people asked, how did I deal with the temptation to want to eat? It was Thanksgiving. Before I found out last week that I wasn't going to be able to eat for Thanksgiving, I would always tell myself I'll be done before Thanksgiving, which will make me want to stick it out. This journey has taught me so much and I'm so glad that I thought that I would be able to eat on Thanksgiving because I probably wouldn't know what to do or have anything to look forward to, to be honest. The colors of the rainbow are so beautiful. They are the colors of the food that strengthens our cells to repair themselves against all the toxins we encounter. Going back to my question from day one on if it's worth it, absolutely. Just to let you in on a little secret, I plan to go on another short seven day juice fast in December. I want to refeed my body first before doing it, so stay tuned on that. Juice fasting is something you have to experience to understand. The benefits can be addicting and I'm addicted, in a healthy way that is. Now that my broth is done, and it tastes delicious by the way, I will be storing it in my mason jar and my to-go bottles. I know it's commonly sipped from a bowl, but I need to feel a little normalcy with this transition. On a side note, my nails look freaking ridiculous. 
I have to run out and get them done because I cannot go on any longer. All I could think about was my pomegranates. I could not wait to get back home so I could eat my pomegranates. Like I've been thinking about it since I did the video on it a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago, I can't remember. And it's something that I was super excited about. So now I am headed to the first restaurant ever. Since my juice fest, I am going to Cafe Intermezzo because that's my favorite tea spot. So I am getting a cup of tea from there, but also they have this ice skating rink out there and my daughter is so high about it so she wanted to go ice skating so we did that and now we're just like chilling by the fire waiting for them to call us because we made reservations I'm super excited about this and I'm just excited to be out and doing things that I used to do Aside from the beautiful scenery at Cafe Intermezzo, I love that they give you a pitcher of tea as opposed to a cup of tea. For those who are wondering, it is caffeine free tea. I enjoyed every bit of my time here. The ambience was top tier. This is definitely my type of scenery. If I haven't told you yet, happy holidays. It's nothing like coming home and seeing your Christmas tree staring back at you. If I had to change anything about this experience, I would work on my confidence and patience. Being confident that the benefits will come and being patient to fight it out until it happens. Although my juice fast is over, I still will be juicing every night and every morning until I feel ready to break the routine. Considering that I hate the juicing process, I still feel guilty when I don't do it. I'm certain it's all mental, but I now have to learn how to allow myself to catch a break. I received a lot of questions about the cost of juicing. You can fit juicing into any budget. When money is low, I spend as little as $50 per week, and when things are going well, I spend about $220 per week, which is how much I'm spending now. When I first started my juice fest, I was drinking as little as 4 liters per day, and now I'm up to 6 liters per day to prevent weight loss. I plan my recipes around my budget, not the other way around. I found that melons work best on a budget since they produce the most juice at a lower cost. I never overspend to keep up with my juice fast. I create strategies to help me manage it. I hope my journey continues to inspire you to continue on yours. You can do whatever you put your mind to, just never give up. I will always be here to support you and will be documenting my 7 day juice fast that's coming up in December. If you completed your 14 day or 7 day juice fast this past Sunday, congratulations. Even if you went longer than that and started prior to the 14 day juice fast, congratulations. You deserve it. The small wins matter as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you stay motivated.